So you want to learn how to use Google Tag Manager to install your Pinterest tag on your WordPress website. Well, look no further than this fully up-to-date tutorial on how to install not only your Pinterest tag, but events using thank you pages on your websites. So let's jump right on in. Pinterest pixel with Google Tag Manager, you will likely see this screen when you first log in. You're gonna navigate to tags, and on this screen, you are going to choose new. Then we're gonna type in Pinterest tag dash base code. And then under tag configuration, we are going to search for Pinterest tag. Alternatively, you can just scroll down this list until you find it. We're gonna go ahead and paste the tag ID here in this box. We are going to go to your Pinterest tag manager. So it's gonna be under ads and conversions and you will be brought to the screen. If you do not have a Pinterest tag at this point in time, your screen will look different. So you will need to go through the step-by-step -step process to create your tag. It's very simple. And then you will be faced with a screen similar to this. You will grab your Pinterest tag from here. Alternatively, if you go to configure base code, it is also located here. Now we're gonna copy this number and we are going to put it here in the tag ID. Now we're gonna fire the base code only and we do not need to, um, you can fire an enhanced match. You do not need to fire enhanced match if you do not wish to. However, we're gonna go ahead and choose yes on firing an enhanced matched here. Now under triggering, you will want to come in and choose a trigger. If you do not have a trigger set up yet, you will need to go to triggers and set up all pages and page view. I can show you that in a moment. So we're gonna choose all pages, page view and click save. Now this is firing the base code only. This is not firing the page view event. If you want to set up a page view event, you will need to set that up in addition to this. So what we're gonna do is I wanna show you in triggers what this looks like. So I have a page view event set up in my triggers. I set this up 13 days ago when I was initially playing in this account. So you would go to new and you would name your trigger page view and you would come in and choose page view and it would be all pages, not just some pages, but all pages and you would save that. Now, when I said this is not going to fire your page view event, what I mean by that is if you go in here and you actually edit this, you will notice here it says base code only. It will fire the page view event across all pages with your base code if you choose that here. And then it's going to take away those enhanced matched options and you can turn on enhanced match inside of your Pinterest dashboard you can use that over there at any point in time. So right now we can toggle the page view, uh, the page visit event to fire on. I actually prefer the page view visit to fire with all of my Pinterest base code fires because what that is going to do in your Pinterest tag manager, you'll notice here all of the event codes that have fired in the month of June are just the initialized. So what we actually need to do is go to page visit and add it and you'll see that it's zero. So alongside your initialized event will be page view, page visits as well. I'm gonna show you my own ads manager, tag manager right now. So if I go into tags, you'll see that I have page views, checkouts, leads, and initialized. So I have 6,550 page visit fires happening across my website because I have had 6,550 6, base code fires. Now, I prefer to build out a page view event as well as just a tag event because it gives me something else I can create an audience on. So if you go into audiences and create audience, go to site visitors, choose optional filters, event, you can select page view as one of your events to build off of. So in the last 30 days on my main tag, I could build a 30 day page views event. So it'd be page visits and then create. 
so I could create a page view, page visits audience. It wouldn't just be people in the initialized audience. Sometimes those two don't match up. So in this case, that's what I'm walking you through and teaching you how to do, is just to go ahead and add your page visit event to fire right in on top of your Pinterest tag base code and have them both firing on all pages. You're gonna submit that container, give it a name, that way you know what you're doing. So, if this breaks the website, you know that you can go back and remove this change and it'll be all fine and dandy. It's gonna say, hey, this is available, this is working, version whatever is live. And then what we can do is actually go to the website and test it. So this is someone in my membership academy. Um, she volunteered for me to set up her base code for her so I could film this video. So thank you, Brittany, for allowing me to do so. And um, you can see here with the Pinterest tag helper that her page is now firing a page visit as well as the base code. Alternatively, we could also test events inside of Pinterest by launching it, interacting with the page a little bit, coming back over to Pinterest. Now, a lot of times this tool does not work for me. So if it does not work for you either, just know that you have the Pinterest tag helper as a backup. So I will go back to tag manager and now we have three page visits firing from my tests. So I visited the, the website three times. I refreshed this page twice. And then this is the third fire here. So we have three matching page visits in here now. So that is how you set up your base code with a page visit event. Now I wanna show you how you can set up a thank you page for a sign up. So go back to your Google Tag Manager and then you're gonna go to Tags. I'm gonna show you how to set up a, an event inside of the uh, Google Tag Manager for any pages inside of your website on my own Google Tag Manager instead of Brittany's because she doesn't have any thank you pages right now to set up. So you wanna get a URL that you can fire a thank you event on. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to fire a sign up event. So in Pinterest, we will fire an event for someone that signs up for a freebie. And to understand how to do this manually, you would go through the configure base code. You would do it manually instead. So instead of manually placing this sign up script, we are actually going to have it fed through Google Tag Manager. So what we need to do is actually get our, well, have to have our tag ID. So hop over to triggers. You need to set up your trigger first. So we're gonna click new and we're gonna give it a name. So I like to put in the name of whatever it is in the event that's happening and choose configuration. And then we're going to choose page view and then on some page views and we're going to go to url choose page url it's about midway down the selection and then paste in your url now this can be any url on the internet so it could be like this is my lead pages url it could be a url from your webinar software from Kajabi, whatever the URL is that you want it to feed through and actually fire when that page loads. So we're gonna click save because we set up our trigger. Now we actually need to set it up to actually work. So we're gonna go back to tags and you can see here in my list of tags, I have Pinterest lead and I have all of these different leads that are happening for Pinterest. So. In this case, we are using leads because my previous person who set up Google Tag Manager for me actually did this for me. So the event is already set up. So let me show you how to do this from start to finish. You would click new and then you would give it a name. Then you would configure your tag. So again, search for Pinterest. And then it's going to be lead or you could choose sign up. In this case, I already have leads set up, so I'm gonna choose sign up. 
And then we are going to add that trigger that we just set up, the triggering event. So I'm gonna find the test thank you sign up, and this sign up, this base code is going to fire when this sign up event code also fires. So the base code will fire first, and the sign up event will fire, and that will feed over to Pinterest. You're gonna click save, and it's gonna tell you, hey, your Pinterest tag can't be empty. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Put your Pinterest tag in and then click save and then you will you will want to make sure to publish your changes. Now that is down here Pinterest sign up it says test sign up page and you're going to click submit. Then click publish going to tell you it's working. It's going to tell you the version has been submitted. If it breaks your website, now you will be aware that it's broken your website. So now what I want to do is actually test fire off this page to exit preview and we need to publish. Copy the link and then we're going to toss that link in here and it should theoretically fire off and it's not, which is fine. Um, sometimes the tag helper doesn't work properly and it also is taking a moment to connect to Google Tag Manager. Could very well be timed out and blocked out, but you can see here that my lead event is successfully fired off on this page. So we set up a lead event inside of Google Tag Manager the same way. The other one just hasn't had enough time to catch up. So that is it. That's how you set up your event codes right alongside your Google Tag Manager based code for Pinterest. You can do this for Google, Facebook, TikTok, you name it. You can set up your tags inside of Google Tag Manager. Now you can also do this with product purchases. Currently, I am not available to show you how that is set up on my own business because someone else did it for me, but we set it up with Google Tag Manager and Thrivecart to communicate with each other and pass through the data to my Google Analytics to actually show me how much money I'm making on any given day, what products are selling, etc. So maybe that is a tutorial I can do for you later on once I learn the process. But for now, this is how you set up your Pinterest tag and your Pinterest event code. That's it. Now that you have your Pinterest tag installed, you can start learning how to promote pins using these videos right here. To learn more about promoted pins and running your own ads on Pinterest, watch those. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you next week.